welcome to MG Tracy. Well today I'm going to be helping you save possibly thousands of pounds, thousands of dollars by repairing your own resin bonded drive. This was the first area I repaired about a month ago and it's lasted fine. And this is the area we're going to repair today. If you leave this once your resin bonded drive has started to come up in the winter water gets underneath there, freezes and that ice lifts more and more off. We seem to have more than our fair share of rescue helicopters going over today, so apologies if you're getting a lot of helicopter noise. So if you've had a resin bonded drive, they really are the Rolls Royce of drives. Our last one lasts about 10 years. Um, but once they start to crack, you do need to fix that and, and replace any holes. Now, that's a lot of money if you're gonna get a professional to do it. So I found a way that you can do it for less than $10. One of the first things you're going to need to do is to either sweep up some of the gravel that's come loose off your drive or to vacuum it. This is actually an important thing to do on resin drives because if you leave them then as the car tyres roll over them they tend to knock off other pieces of the um, gravel from the resin bond. So certainly twice a year you need to make sure that any loose stones on your resin drive are removed. So before you start, there's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a way to collect the loose gravel off your drive. You see I've already got some of that there. That's what we're going to use to fill the hole. You're going to want your chalking gun. You're going to want something to sort of massage the pasty, gluey stones back into the hole. You want some grease proof paper because the last stage of it is actually treading it in yourself and you don't want it all to stick to the bottom of your shoes. Now this is what I've used in the UK. This is a quick drying outdoor clear, uh, super strong glue. And after I've tested this and this seems to work really well in fixing holes in uh, resin drives. So I'll put the links below. If you're outside the UK you should find something very similar. So this is the bit we're going to repair. Make sure that this is dry and you've blown out any loose surfaces that are underneath. <laughs> right, so I made a bit of an error there. I picked up this one, all materials, which is actually quick drying, but actually it's white. We need this one, the all materials, crystal clear. It doesn't dry as fast, but obviously once it's set, it's invisible. So I'm just going to reopen that pack now and we're going to carry on with our chalky gun. Right, that's about ready to go now. Don't do too much pressure because you'll have a lot of the uh, cement, clear cement coming out the end. What's it doing here then? Enter this in, so it will just squidge in between all the pieces of gravel right. 
and well, that's going to run on a bit. So it's best to get something to rest that on. Right, now we're going to add the gravel that we swept up earlier. We need plenty of this. Don't worry if there's a few other bits and pieces of grass and stuff because you've already got that on the drive, so it will all just blend in. Now we're just going to gently push that down. Now obviously not all the stones are going to stick, but we need to get them all nice and level. Once you've done this, don't drive your car over it for a day or so. It does take, depending on the temperature, a while to set. But you should end up with a permanent invisible match. Now there's one more stage to this I'm just going to show you. And then we shall just leave it. So the last stage is you want some greaseproof paper. Put that down over where you've just done. And then put all your body weight on it. Just make sure all those stones have really gone in well into the final position. If you do this without grease paper, when you lift your foot up, you just have a very gravelly pair of trainers. So there we have our invisible mend. Give that a good 24, 36 hours to set before you run your vehicle over it. So I hope you found that useful and that should save you a lot of money with your resin bonded drive. Please like, share and subscribe and come back every day for more fun and tips here on our channel, MG Tracy. This is Paul from London saying cheerio.